What's up guys, the Strong Boys 19 here. This is going to be pretty much like a follow-up video to a list of five songs that I either just got so sick and tired of hearing or to just not listen to them anymore from some of my favorite bands. You can play along if you want to to make your own list in the comments down below. These songs are very obvious that I've listed for this video, but even if they are so obvious, you just can't hide them away to yourselves without mentioning them. Some of these songs are from albums that I do love that are classics. And with these ones, I just have to point these out. No particular order. The first one up, I love Led Zeppelin. They're one of my favourite bands of all time, and you can't go wrong with these legendary albums. My personal favourite being Led Zeppelin 2. But this one song is from Led Zeppelin 4. It has to be Stairway to Heaven. Yes, it is full of distinction through the melody and the beautiful performances and the anthemic finale parts. But do I always need to hear Stairway everywhere? From the moments that I hear it on the radio to people talking about this song without going into other Led Zeppelin songs. There are other ballads from Zeppelin that I love, obviously with Down by the Seaside to the other songs of the Battle of Evermore and the other acoustic songs through different albums. I don't really want to see Stairway as a very common song in my, in my mind to talk about anymore. The next one, this is from a band whose new album is coming out for next year, and I'm looking forward to it. The band is Judas Priest, and it's from the British Steel record, which was an album that I've talked about that I still like, but not defined it at all as one of the classics, as many people say that it is one of them. The song is Living After Midnight. I could have said Breaking the Law, Living After Midnight got so repetitive and really agitating for me. Yes, it has a hook, but there are better hooks from different songs. Not just on that album, but through Defenders of the Faith, Screaming for Vengeance, and obviously Painkiller. And some of the underrated records do have their own appeal that I like, but with Living After Midnight, it would not surprise me if they would use it as one of the encore songs for their future shows, just like they've, they've done that previously. Living After Midnight is not a classic song. I like it for what it is, but sometimes I just think it's so predictable. The next one. What can I say about this one in particular? Oasis Wonderwall. I love Oasis, as you guys know that. Don't Look Back in Anger, Cast No Shadow, Slide Away, and Roll It Over, Let's All Make Believe. These songs are so much better than Wonderwall. It's not the best Oasis song. Just because it's their biggest hit does not mean that it's one of the greatest things ever written. And the song itself, yes, it's lovely with the rhythm and the acoustic guitar strumming. But there are other songs from Oasis that have so much power and delivery that I would be attached with than Wonderwall. The next song, second to last song. This is a song from some of my favourite albums of all time. Like What's the Story Morning Glory by Oasis. This one is from my favourite at the time, my favourite metal album of all time, Vulgar Display of Power. Pantera, Walk. Come on guys, can you really think that this is one of those other songs 
when you really think still it's some of the best things they've done the simplicity of the riff is memorable and the punching drums and the chorus it's got its anthemic vibe but it's to me not one of the greatest pantera songs there's Strength Beyond Strength, Sandblasted Skin, The Great Southern Trend Kill, Primal Concrete Sledge, This Love. Walk is still a good song, but when it comes to talkings about the greatest metal songs of all time, do you think Walk is one of them? I don't see that one as one of the greatest in my book. The last one. From a classic record, the legendary band that is Motorhead, Ace of Spades, the classic album Ace of Spades with the unstoppable and recognisable, no needs of introduction title track, Ace of Spades, yes the energy is powerful. The incredible riffing and the blistering solo from Fast Eddie and the cool sound of the band. Ace of Spades has reached its breaking point for me. I will only say that Ace of Spades is still a really tight song. I'm starting to lose my connection with it. I love Motorhead as I always say this. But I don't really want to hear Ace of Spades again. So that is it, guys. That's all I want to say for this list. Do share your own thoughts around these songs. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.